briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1982, the United States District Court for the Western District of Wisconsin heard the case St. Joseph Equipment v. Massey Ferguson, Inc. The lawsuit centered around a dealership agreement between the two parties and questioned whether the Wisconsin Fair Dealership Law, WFDL, applied to large-scale product or geographic market withdrawals. For years, the plaintiff had been a dealer of products manufactured by Massey Ferguson, primarily construction machinery. In 1976, the parties entered into a dealer sales and service agreement, formalizing the relationship. However, in 1978, Massey Ferguson decided to withdraw from the construction machinery market in North America due to substantial losses and declining market share. The plaintiff subsequently filed a lawsuit, claiming that the termination of the dealership agreement violated the WFDL. The defendant argued that the WFDL did not apply to non-discriminatory product withdrawals on a large scale. In examining the case, the court looked at the terms of the agreement, the specifics of the law, and the circumstances surrounding the defendant's decision to withdraw. Ultimately, the court ruled that the defendant had not breached the contract by ceasing importation of construction machinery, as the relationship between the parties was contractual, not fiduciary. The court focused on the defendant's compliance with Section 135.04, WISAS Stats, and related damages for the WFDL claim while dismissing the remaining claims. The decision clarified that the WFDL does not protect dealers from harsh economic realities and large-scale market withdrawals without additional evidence of unfair treatment. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.